Welcome to the tutorial Automated Magnetic Bead Based Cleanup Using EP Motion. Bead cleanups are some of the most common and repetitive steps in applications such as NGS library preparation. The EP Motion can be of great help here. To perform bead cleanups on the EP Motion, the device must be equipped with the sample plate, a 96 well magnet plate, reagents like wash and elution buffers, and pre homogenized bead suspension. The EP Motion automatically detects if the volumes of beads and buffers are sufficient to perform the method. In the first step of the bead cleanup, beads are added to the samples. By first tip mixing the bead solution in the reservoir, the beads get homogeneously distributed in the liquid so that equal amounts of beads can be transferred to each sample. After adding beads to the sample, both components are mixed in the pipette tip to allow proper binding of the sample to the beads. This process is then repeated for every sample. For the following bead washing steps, the sample plate is moved onto the magnet plate using the gripper tool. Nucleic acids bound to the magnetic beads get separated from the supernatant on the magnet. After separation, the supernatant is removed to the liquid waste using a 300 microliter H channel dispensing tool. In this step, Good tip positioning is required to remove supernatant as carefully as possible from the beads. High quality NGS libraries can be generated with accurate supernatant removal for a purified DNA sample. New tips are used for each sample to avoid contamination. To remove unwanted components, 80% ethanol is added to the bead-bound nucleic acids and removed after incubation. The final step of the bead cleanup is the elution step to separate the nucleic acids from the beads. The sample plate is moved to the thermomixer position of the EP Motion that has a 96 well plate adapter. Elution buffer is added to the beads using a 300 microliter 8 channel pipetting tool. Both components are first mixed in the pipette tip and then shaken on the thermomixer to ensure effective elution of nucleic acids from the beads. The sample plate is then transported back to the magnet for the separation of nucleic acids and beads. To finish the cleanup process, the supernatant containing the nucleic acids is transferred to an empty well of the sample plate using a 50 microliter 8 channel dispensing tool. For further information, please visit eppendorf.com/epmotion.